Wednesday, August the 8th, and unfortunately, we're not cutting down that walnut tree today, but we'll be tomorrow. I know what you're thinking, the weather looks great. It's beautiful here today. It's about 80 degrees, but about one o'clock, which is just in about, gosh, two and a half hours, we got some terrible thunderstorms headed this way. And it looks like that rain's gonna set in here for the afternoon, so I'm not gonna head over to the farm, but we'll be doing over tomorrow, as long as the road doesn't get washed out, we'll go over tomorrow and drop that walnut tree and start hauling those other ones home. Got about 14 over on the ground to bring over here. Not counting that pecan tree. And I had a question about that pecan, if it's a crotch log, it is. It's a nice crotch log. And I've never saw a pecan before, so I don't have no idea what I'm getting into other than the fact that it's related to hickory. So it's probably gonna be pretty hard stuff, but we'll put it on the mill and see what happens. Now I'm not sure what kind of video this is going to be today. I got a lot of stuff to do here. I gotta work around the weather and try to get some things done. Got some stuff in the wood shop to take care of. But first thing this morning, I'm going to do some adjustments here on the kiln. Once that's done, I'm going to run across the street and get some white pine. We had those terrible storms I've been talking about a few weeks ago, and the top of a white pine tree close to uh, my mailbox came down. And it landed across the road. Of course, the road part's been cleaned up. But there's about two good logs laying in a little vacant lot across the street from me so we'll take the log arch and the atv over this morning and drag those over here and they're not going to be huge logs by no means but they'll be good enough to use on this little log cabin timber frame building we're going to be putting up here but i was able to order that camera this morning so come this weekend i'll finally have a proper uh, dslr camera here for shooting videos with and uh, it's just gonna be nice i'm gonna be able to look at that camera and kind of see what it's recording without i have to walk behind it to make sure it's getting me in the uh, frame aggravating been a long time coming been making videos here for almost it'd be three years in november Oct november october and november will be three years making videos here and i'm finally getting a proper camera so anyways let's run over to the kiln and check these settings and get the atv arch out and four-wheeler and go across the street here and get these white pine logs and bring them home i'm trying to get a decent shot here of this uh control screen here a lot of glare coming through the woods behind me I think it's going to be okay. I think you guys can see what numbers I'm looking at. Now right now the kiln is the five quarter walnut that we put in there the other day with eight quarter slabs on top of it. And I didn't want to do an aggressive drying schedule because the lumber was not below 20%. So what I did was is really change the norm and what we do here. Usually I do the dry bulb right here up to 120 degrees and it usually goes up to 130. It's hard to stay below 120 when you set it to 120. And I set my wet bulb at 75, which means when the humidity reaches 75% over here, the compressor comes on and starts pulling moisture out of the air. And right now you guys see it's at 97. It's not even cut on yet. Now it cut on yesterday for about an hour and drawed a little bit of water out, but then the humidity dropped below 98%, so the compressor cut off. Now it just hit 98 right there, but it won't cut on until it hits 100 actually. That way it doesn't bounce back and forth. There's a two degree uh, window in there so your compressor's not bouncing on and off constantly. But the reason I'm doing this is, is this wood, you gotta dry it a little bit slower. If it was air dried to less than 20%, I would be going at 120 on my dry bulb and 75 on the wet bulb and running this thing nonstop. But since the moisture is a little bit higher, it's, in, it's around 25, 27%, you want to go a little bit slower on this because you don't want to pull too much water out at once because you have a lot of defects in your boards a lot of cupping and some cracking and some this terrible stuff will happen if you dry it too fast so that's why we're going slower right here and uh, yesterday i actually had this at 110 i went up to 115 this morning because i was being real conservative yesterday doing a little bit slower drying schedule at 110 i'm up to 115 i'm hoping to get my humidity up to about 100 so the compressor will kick on but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm being a little too conservative here, but I'd rather be too conservative than go up too fast and ruin the lumber. So I'm going to change this dry bulb to 120 and change my wet bulb to 96. And uh, the way this kiln works is, it's pretty simple. It heats up this kiln chamber. When the wood gets heated up, it releases the water. Then the compressor pulls the water out of the air because the fans are constantly moving that warm air through the lumber stack. So, you know, if you think about it that way, you're warming this wood up, but you don't want to warm it up too fast, too quick to release that water, because if it releases the water too fast, you got problems. So I'm probably rambling on here as usual, but I'm trying to uh, help you guys understand this. They're not familiar with this whole process and how it works. 
because it's pretty simple when you think about it, but uh, I get a lot of questions about it and it's kind of hard to explain unless you're right here in front of it for an entire cycle, watching the whole process happen in front of you. Times you see faces And they remind you of your own And there are times you steal bases There are times you run for home Sometimes the pieces come together 